Hey guys, welcome back to the Billionaire Series. Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments down below that are like, how do you become a billionaire? Some would argue you could go into the farm sim files and change it to a billion dollars. Or there's another way. My way was a school of hard knocks. I started a rental rocket landscaping company, uh, specifically in the lawn care industry. And I started it when I was 12 years old, borrowed my grandma's lawnmower and started knocking out lawns from there. Eventually you get bigger and bigger and people start requesting you to mow their lawn. I mowed Tom Brady's lawn, Miranda Lambert, OJ Simpson, and heck, even the president hit me up and was like, hey, would you knock out my lawn? And we got the job done for him. If you want proof, here's a photo. And so I ended up selling rental rocket landscaping for just a little over a billion dollars. Obviously you gotta pay a little taxes, but President Trump let me slip by a little bit because I knocked out his lawn. But, uh, but we got bigger issues in the story. Um, I couldn't sleep last night. We have issues. We have issues. Let me show you something. Last night I was up on the computer, couldn't sleep because I found out somebody moved in next door. And as you guys know, there's an award show coming up around this lake for the nicest compound, the nicest property. And obviously from what you guys can see, I think we we're going to win that. But looks like a new competitor is coming into town. So I was up on my Apex game PC all night. I found the guy who's move, who moved in there. Bill is his name. Bill. And he didn't say anything about the award coming up or anything like that, but he said he was just going to build a nice dream house there, put a nice shop. I was like, okay. I was doing some research to kind of figure out, well, how much money does he have? How big is he going to go? Can he beat our compound here? And it turns out Bill's a millionaire. He might as well call himself Mill. So I don't know how big he's going to go, uh, but we got to keep an eye on Bill. While it was night out, I went and flew my drone past his place to figure out what setup he's doing, what he's got going over here. It looks like he bought an F-450. This has got to be a half a million dollar truck. Who puts a camper in the middle of the truck and then puts a flatbed on it? Of course, Bill. And he's got a yacht, which has got to be more than his net worth. If Bill's buying this for vehicles, he's going to build something pretty crazy here. And then I kept flying past the property, and I see this. Suck it by Bill. As you can see, everybody around us, they have nice homes. But I don't think it's going to beat the compound, our compound, uh, for the award show of the like this year. There's only one person that has the chance to beat us, and that's Bill. So, what we got to do is we got to clean up this place a bit, back here, especially. I like them, but some of these trees got to go. Was putting up this. It's a luxury shed. There's a builder around here that will put this up. And if we got a luxury shed, we got to buy some more cars to put in there. So I was going to haul a truckload of Ferraris or Lamborghinis, whatever. I don't know. Whatever it is. Whatever to make this place look nicer in here and really get this place looking nicer on the back edge of the property. But hey, if you guys end up enjoying this video, please help me out by smashing that like button. And uh, we'll keep making more. So a lot of these trees have to go. And we got to get a skid loader in here to get rid of these. Well, I've decided what we're going to do is cut these three trees down and add on right here. That way, when I walk out of my house every morning, I don't have to stare at Bill's house. Instead, I'll stare at my next shop right here. Dumbo. Okay, we got to grab a stump grinder to grind these three stumps, and we'd start building. Which car do we take? I think we'll take the Lambo. So, we got to rent a truck, or I'll just buy a truck down there since we have the money. Buy a trailer, and probably just buy a skid loader. And here we go. New Holland is all they had. I don't know if it's the best brand or what, but we're going with it. Man, maybe I should have got a bigger drop hitch. Huh. Come on. <laughs> we're spinning. Yep. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay. We got the skid loader. Fire up, grind the stumps, and get built. Too bad my grandma didn't own one of these when I was running rental rocket landscaping. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to mention, if you guys are ever on TikTok, we do have an official TikTok now. The squad underscore YouTube is an official TikTok. I'll try to link that below. Hopefully I remember. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I get on TikTok and I get a little addicted. I'm like, okay, I'm going to hop on for three minutes and boom, an hour later, I'm still watching TikTok. Check her out. It's floating. I got it to be floating. So we got poles in the ground and basically this is floating, uh, on water, you could say. Oh, okay. I kind of want to do something to where, cause this is this does what the this does look like an entrance right here. There we go. We'll have a little like pond there, but then we'll have an entrance where you can walk in. You know. Okay, so check this place out. Got a driveway created. I gotta get rid of these lights. Still, it comes down, and then we got all the storage in here. And unfortunately, we can still see Bill's place over there. But yeah, that's the place. And then there's a roof on here too. But I don't know how to get up here. Wait a sec. That's how you get up there. There's an elevator. Yep. There's an elevator. Okay. This is going to be sweet. So, I'm going to extend the driveway over here. 
Uh, it looks like we'll have to extend that. And then back here is what, where you'll pull your vehicle up here. I don't think we have enough cars, so I'm buying more. That way we can fill our brand new shop. So we have a Bentley, but the Bentley is so smooth. We need another daily driver for sure. There's a couple different color schemes we can go with. This ain't bad. I don't want one too exotic, because like this orange color doesn't look that good on it. Here, I'll show you. It doesn't look that good. My favorite color is this dune, but we already have one in that color, so we can't do it. Let's go silver. Tinted windows, there we go. Just 300 grand. Z06 Corvette wouldn't be bad. These are pretty sweet. We'll go manual, put a cool color on her. Sunrise yellow, heck yeah. Range Rover, yep. Lamborghini Aventador, besides this time we won't have a top on it. Just no top. Scarlet red looks pretty darn good. We're doing that. Could get a Razor, we haven't even got Razors yet. What about a classic Corvette? This would be pretty cool. We're going classic Corvette. Uh, dash lights, we'll just go red. Go the Starburst wheels. The old style wheels. We'll keep them chrome. Nitro blue. Nitro blue with a white interior. Now there was an Audi R8. Audi. Sorry, Audi. Where is that car at? Jeep Gladiator. We're doing it. So we'll get the Audi R8. Oh, plates. Washington. Okay, we'll go USA plates. Um... 4.7 liter V8 twin turbo tuned. And man, this is looking clean. Okay, there's a lot of good colors here. That white one looked pretty darn good. Red, eh. Blue, black doesn't look too bad. Black looks pretty good. The, the aesthetics on the body look so good in this white color. Just the shadows across the lines. She looks beautiful. Oh, okay, we're getting this. Ah, gosh darn it, we have so many lifted vehicles. I don't know if I want to get in. Gosh, that's so cool though. Fine, we're getting the Raptor. I don't know if we'll haul it in today or what. Ferrari. We don't have a Ferrari yet. We have a lot of Lamborghinis, but we don't have a Ferrari. We're getting a Ferrari. Okay, so this is what we got, and this is what we got hauled back. I got this Peterbilt, so we can load most of these cars up on here, and I was thinking of hauling the motorhome back on top, too. So that folds down. There we go. And then what we can do... Okay, let's put the uh, Land Rover on top, because I don't know if, if we put a Lamborghini or something, it's going to bottom out right there. Then we'll put the Lambo up top. Okay, then you get in the truck. <laughs> we gotta keep this truck. If we have this many vehicles, we're gonna keep this truck. Okay, Ferrari's going in next. Man, that is a beautiful color on this car. One thing about this trailer, it seems so small compared to these cars. I can barely get this up on the ramps. Oh, there we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we gotta hook up to the trailer and then load the rest up there. I don't think we're getting that Raptor up there. Oh gosh, this is tippy. Dude, I really want to get the bus. Or sorry, the RV on top. Uh, we have way too many vehicles to bring back. We'll save the RV for later. One of the smoothest driving vehicles I've ever seen right here. The Bentley. Okay, Ferrari, Bentley loaded up. I think, I don't know. I don't think we can fit another vehicle on there. So we're going to have to lift it up and then put the rest of the vehicles underneath. Tell you what, one of the funnest games when I was a kid, Need for Speed. I forgot which version. I was so addicted to that game. Need for Speed. <sighs> on GameCube. Yeah, on GameCube. There we go. She's going up. <laughs> oh, she sounds pretty good. Buck, when Buck made this Corvette, so when Buck modded this Corvette in, he made it uh, to have a manual transmission mod, which I don't have in. So it's actually like revving up like a ton right now. Okay. Audi R8. Audi. Sorry. I always mis mispronounce. There we go. We got a full load. There's nothing else we can bring. Unless there's a hitch on the back of here. Here we go, boys. <laughs> Hold on. How much money is here? I'm not the best with my car, so I'm going to say that it was Lamborghini, Ferraris. We'll just say 400 a piece. So you got 400, 400, 800. Uh, another 400, 1200. Audi R8. I don't know. Is it 250? Or 1.2 million, 1.245 million. Bentley? I have no idea. We'll go 100,000. I could be totally wrong. I'm probably wrong. So we're at 1.55 million. Corvette? I'll just say 100 grand brand new. I don't know. With modifications. Probably more like 60 or 70. So we're at 1.65 million plus Land Rover. I have no idea how much that is. 200? 150? Close to like 1.8 million. I am surprised that Land Rover is staying on there oh gosh now that i think of it if we had that bugatti on here that'd be 18 million you know what if i if this thing tips this whole thing's going over with like millions of dollars of supercars on here if we tip and go into this water oh gosh oh this is steep oh don't bottom out please don't bottom out 
There we go. There we go. We're doing good. I should really just be unloading them right here and driving them over the bridge individually. But we're going to go. Oh, shoot. We are tipping. I need to widen this driveway. Oh, no. That's not good. No. No. <gasps> okay. Everybody stay cool. Come on. Oh, my gosh. We're good. We're good. Yes, sir. <laughs> my gosh. We made it. What I'm going to have to do is pull across the yard to get these unloaded because there's no way we're turned around. We ran into a couple issues on that bridge back there. It was uh, it was sketchy. Now you got to get the Lambo off and then the Bentley disconnect and get these off. We're starting to run out of places to put our vehicles, but luckily this shop is giant. I've been really liking this F2, F450 we just bought for the skid, skid steer. What I'm going to do is put it on the elevator and get it up to the top. I'll show you guys. Pull up on here. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Huh. Maybe this doesn't work. Oh, there he goes. There he's going. Then we got it over here. And then there's Bill's place. The yacht and his F450. Now I gotta find a way to unload these two, park the trailer, and then get everything put away. I think we did good. We're expanding on the place. It's looking good with the new addition to the shop, basically floating on water. And we'll keep working on it. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Billionaire Series videos. If you did, smash that like button. And hey, hopefully you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.